Hey everyone, this is Socks Hermit. Today I'm reading a story for a fundraiser called Lighting It Up Blue. It is a fundraiser kicking off Autism Awareness Month. Please share this with friends and family as there will be a link posted after the story to a donation page created on behalf of my friend's daughter. On November 1st, 2005, my daughter Natalie Jo was born. From the first, she was different, something we're very proud of. She never cried, slept through the night at just three weeks, and was a very calm baby generally. As a toddler, she had her little oddities. She wore her jeans backwards, her shirts and socks inside out, and didn't learn as quickly as her sister did. They were both homeschooled early on. She was slow developmentally, especially in language. She didn't speak at all until she was almost two, and then not in full sentences until almost three years old. They diagnosed her with autism, and although it hasn't slowed her down, to those who spend time with her, her differences are noticeable. She's nervous in social situations, doesn't acclimate easily, and can't communicate her feelings as well as others, especially if she's overstimulated. She's learned to tell me when she needs a timeout, and she's found her coping mechanisms, drawing, writing, and horseback riding. She's got a talent for animals, and most days, likes them better than people. She's never had a, any professional help or any type of therapy. We've done it all on our own. She's seven now and has come a long way from being labeled a slow learner to being the top of her class, doing work that's meant for one or two grade levels above her age, and from being a difficult child to a caring, sweet, and very talented little girl. I'll bit a quiet one most days. She's got a temper and likes to blame her sassiness on her red hair. She tells people outright that she has autism. And that means I'm special, one of a kind, and there's nobody like me. She embraces her differences and shines so bright. It's a joy to be around her. She still has her quirks. She still wears her socks inside out and doesn't like the tags in her shirts or certain fabrics. She's very touch sensitive and she has no problem letting you know when she doesn't like something. We have our good days and our bad days, but like anyone else with a super kid, we maintain. We support Autism Awareness and the Light It Up Blue campaign because not all kids on the spectrum are as lucky as Natalie Jo is. Some of them have it worse, and sadly, not everyone is as accepting as we are of differences. Research on autism could go a long way to helping them. And with everyone's help, we can show the world that there's nothing wrong with these super kids. They're special, just like Natalie Jo. Embrace the amazing because each of these kids have a story to tell. And it's almost a guarantee that it will make you smile.